Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about pulse synchronization of relaxation devices. We know already relaxation devices are nothing but example is UGT relaxation oscillator or SCT all triad like uh, UGT which is having three terminals and the charging and as well as discharging that type of devices we are using it as relaxation devices. So in our example here we are going to take UGT relaxation oscillator. So what is the purpose of synchronization? Synchronization is nothing but if you are going for any type of circuit, analog circuit. So this is the analog circuit. This analog circuit is producing a waveform. Okay, it is like a frequency oscillator. Okay, so here the output waveform is producing based on a specific interval of time period or nothing but we can say a fixed time a fixed time or fixed frequency like f if i want to change this frequency or time period then for that purpose we are going to apply a sync pulse to this or synchronization signal the purpose of synchronization signal is to change the time period of this particular analog circuit which is already there okay suppose f1 is the first frequency which is a constant frequency where independently that analog circuit can generate but whenever a sync pulse is applied as input for this analog circuit then the f2 will be changed to a new frequency like f nu okay this new frequency is due to the synchronization signal okay so that is the main purpose of this circuit most commonly we are using it for the oscillators relaxation oscillators where we are going to change the frequency of oscillations okay so the meaning of this heading is pulse synchronization of relaxation devices means we are taking one example as UGT relaxation oscillator for this UGT relaxation oscillator we are applying a synchronization pulse that pulse will change the characteristics of the relaxation oscillator so that the output on off conditions will be different based upon the pulse okay so first let us consider a ujt relaxation oscillator we know very well ujt relaxation oscillator purpose is to generate a sawtooth waveform across the capacitor here a capacitor across we are taking the output voltage v naught or vc okay so VC is the voltage that is a sawtooth waveform when there is no external signal applied automatically the signal goes. So initially assume that the UJT is in off condition. UJT is nothing but a negative resistance device. Negative resistance device. Initially assume under quiescent condition assume that the UJT unijunction transistor is in off state. So when this particular transistor is in off state automatically the current v, uh, the current from vbb goes through this resistance r and enters into this capacitor so as this cap uh, transistor is in off state the current has no other path so definitely the current will go into the capacitor so what the capacitor will do capacitor will charge capacitor charges charges up to a maximum voltage how much it can charge it can charge up to the cut-in voltage of this particular ujt vbe okay this e b1 e okay because a ujt is having two bases base 1 and base 2 okay so v b1 e is the junction voltage for this ujt as the capacitor charges up to this v b e then the junction comes into on state so that the capacitor now it will be having a discharging path through the resistance here r b1 okay previously it has charged through this resistance r and it is now discharging through this resistance rb1 charging path is different and discharging path is different for this capacitor okay so this is during charging period of the capacitor and this is for discharging as the capacitor is discharging this particular period is known as relaxation period relaxation period where it is losing the energy okay now if you take the on off conditions what is the maximum voltage level and what is the minimum voltage level for this particular uh, output waveform the maximum voltage level is peak voltage vp 
VP is the peak voltage which is equal to the cutting voltage of this particular transistor. We can say VP is equal to VBE and it discharges up to not equal to 0, it is up to a valley voltage VV. Okay, we cannot say theoretically, we cannot say it is 0. Okay, it is a valley voltage VV. VV is the minimum voltage where the transistor comes into off state. Okay, up to this point it discharges again, starts rising, again discharges up to VV and again rises. So this is the actual scenario that goes in this particular UJT relaxation oscillator. Initially, of course, the capacitor is of no charge, so it is charging from zero, but after acquiring some potential, it goes up to VV only, it cannot go to the zero. Again, VP, again VV, VV and VP. So the waveform will be completely oscillated between VP and VV, peak voltage and valley voltage. Okay. Now, this is the situation generally goes on with a UJT relaxation oscillator into consider. Now, we are applying a pulse which is at the base 2 of this particular UJT. Okay. What we are doing? We are applying a negative sink pulse. Negative sink pulse. Okay. So, this sink pulse with negative peaks, this is the negative peak signal with a time period of, with a time period of TP. TP is the time period of this applied sync pulse which is applied at the base 2. See here, as we are applying a negative potential, this is the negative voltage from here to here, a negative voltage we are giving, this negative voltage when applied to this UJT, the on off conditions of this UJT will be varied because we are lowering, we are uh, bringing down the cutting voltage of this particular transistor. <coughs> Previously it is VP, but now it is VP minus this voltage. Like if it is the VP voltage, VP is the uh, VP, you cannot say VP, it is pulse um, something VS, sync pulse. Take it as VS. VS is the peak value voltage of this particular sync pulse, this Vs plus Vp is the on condition of this particular UJT, okay. Because the input voltage Vp, cut-in voltage Vp will be down, bring down to this particular Vs. Now, the original nature of this particular uh, relaxation oscillator output uh, will be changed and it will be having a different voltage levels. Okay, and as well as whenever this particular amplitude touches this amplitude of this uh, uh, sync pulse, automatically the time will change. Okay, let us see how it is happening. See here, this is the condition where I am observe, I am taking the first condition where TP <coughs> TP is less than T naught, which results synchronization which results synchronization synchronization will be done based on some condition okay it will not synchronization will not be done all the time okay it, it will be done only during the specific uh, conditions so that condition is tp is less than t naught and the amplitude must be some value okay it has a limited amplitude okay so the tp what is tp and what is t naught tp is the pulse period as i mentioned here tp is nothing but pulse period and t naught is the time period of oscillator ujt relaxation oscillator now we are taking the time period of the pulse waveform which is less than t naught which is less than t naught then only we will be having synchronization. See here what happens. Initially, there is no contact between these two. Okay, it is going with a different time cycle. It is going with a different time cycle. But whenever this particular pulse is applied, see at this particular pulse, let us consider this is first pulse, second pulse, third pulse, fourth, fifth, sixth and so on. Now, until three cycles of the pulse waveform, there is no synchronization between the oscillator output and this pulse waveform. Okay, but at the fourth waveform, see, because the time periods are different, because of the different time periods, definitely they will touch at one point. 
so whenever they meet together at fourth pulse they are meeting together when then what happens actual output should be vp actual output should be vp where the transistor will be turned on but here we are having a voltage which is a negative voltage that is giving this negative voltage will lower the on voltage of this transistor so the remaining amplitude is covered by the capacitor capacitor charges up to this value so this entire voltage is sufficient to make the transistor on then transistor comes into on automatically capacitor discharges up to vv value voltage as i mentioned now again charges and whenever the particular touch uh, voltage amplitude touches and it again it returns back this process will be continued until infinite duration okay so once it touches the amplitude of this is pulse waveform automatically there the synchronization starts so here onwards we will be having synchronization okay so in order to accomplish the synchronization between the output wave from uh, a new pulse waveform and the oscillator output we should maintain the condition that tp should be less than t not let us see what will happen when tp is greater than t not tp is greater than t not the second condition is we are taking here the pulse amplitude the pulse period tp is less than t not that is for synchronization now we are taking it is greater than for t not when it is less than t not the synchronization results but when it is greater than t not there is no synchronization there is no synchronization see here somewhere it touches and of course it is going on okay but again the so time period is different it goes up to here again up to here again up to here but again after some time it touches the amplitude then it comes down but synchronization sometimes it is happening synchronization sometimes it is not happening that is not the case once if the waveform touches and say both set to be synchronized that should be continued for the infinite duration but for one cycle it is going after a few cycles again it is not touching that is not the correct way of synchronization okay so when that input amplitude input uh whatever the pulse input we are giving that time period if it is greater than t not then there is no synchronization this condition you should remember okay and another case you see here in the first case we have taken tp is less than t not synchronization results but if it should be having a proper amplitude if i am taking very less amplitude suppose see here in the fourth pulse and fifth sixth pulses we are having synchronization what is the meaning of synchronization the amplitude of this pulse waveform will bring down to the level where the capacitor voltage is sufficient to make the transistor on but when the amplitude is less amplitude of this pulse waveform is very less it is not sufficient to switch on then what happens there is no synchronization that is the third case see here the third case tp is less than t not tp is less than t not where the synchronization is okay but here amplitude of pulse amplitude of pulse is very low amplitude of pulse is very low no synchronization no synchronization hope you understand see somewhere it is touching here again it misses again it misses misses and again somewhere it touches okay this is not the case suppose if the amplitude is up to here then definitely it would touch here again if it is here then definitely it will return here and again touches here okay so the amplitude also plays an important role in the synchronization okay so amplitude and as well as time will give synchronization between two signals okay so this is how a relaxation oscillator is going to be change their frequencies by applying some synchronization see here what is happening actually it is t not and tp both are different waveforms both are different time periods what is tp pulse period listen clearly and t not is t not is period of oscillation period of oscillations 
T naught is period of oscillations. Remember, T naught is period of oscillations. But after synchronization, what happens? See, this is T naught. It is T P. Whose time period is changing here? Whose time period is changing here? Relaxation oscillator output. Relaxation oscillator output is changing. Nothing but T naught is changing. So after synchronization, that means here onwards, T naught becomes T P. T naught becomes T P. T P will not change. T P will not change. Okay, pulse period will not change. That is the input coming from external source. But whereas the internally the operation is modifying based upon the pulse input, that's why after this particular synchronization we can say T naught is equal to T P. That means previously it is less, but after synchronization this is equal. That is nothing but the pulse oscillator frequency, the relaxation oscillator frequency or time period can be changed according to the input pulse waveform. Okay, this is about synchronization. We are synchronizing two different waveforms. Two different waveforms. Okay, in the next video, I will explain about the frequency division in the sweep circuit. How the frequency? See here, one to one. Here we have seen one is to one. Okay, we will see one is to two, one is to three, so that the frequency division will occur. This is about synchronization. Thank you.